recently, you've probably seen a film poster, it's been all over the place, of uh, a massive great shark face. Uh, and the Megalodon was a shark that grew up to 18 metres in length. And look at that. That is a thought to be a tooth. Just one of the... A, a remake, isn't it? That you got the original I've then. actually got a real, one of the real teeth here. Um, it was extinct. It became extinct, this shark, uh, more than two million years ago. But Hollywood's latest movie challenges that theory. <laughs> Let's have a look. What you people discovered is bigger than we ever thought possible. How big is that thing? It was the largest shark that ever existed. A living fossil. Thought to have been extinct over two million years. Wrong. My God. It's Megalodon. He's kidding, right? Well, is he kidding or not? Uh, joining us now are paleontologist <laughs> Dean Lomax and film critic Hannah Woodhead. Morning, both. Uh, Dean, you have brought in these fantastic props. Just explain to us what I'm holding, because this goes back some time. Yeah, you're holding a real megalodon tooth. That is about approximately about five million years old. It's still very sharp, <laughs> so be careful of cutting your finger. Right. I mean, and it's, <laughs> it is extraordinary. It looks... I mean, it, it is amazing. It looks like it's almost man-made. It literally has, like, razor-sharp yeah. bits on the edge of Absolutely. it. Absolutely. And, and that's not the biggest either. They get it literally up to twice the size of that, up to almost 20 centimetres in length, these teeth. And what were you saying? There's 700... It was thought there were 700 of these teeth in, in the mouth. Yeah, there's several hundred. And sharks, they continually replace their teeth. So, unlike us, if we lost our adult tooth, that's it. It's gone. Sharks continually replace them, replace them, replace them. OK, so yes. 18 metres long, it, it's thought. Um, Jaws was, I suppose, what, two and a half, three metres long? In Something the, like that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they all look at the handy chart. There it is. Yeah. Look at that. That's, uh, it gives you an idea of the size. Um, Hannah, the, the facts about this Megalodon are amazing. Uh, the teeth are incredible. What's the film like? Um, n not as incredible <laughs> as, as the actual Meg, I think. Um, I was quite excited about this. You know, it's Jason Statham. He might punch a shark. Who doesn't want to see that? Um, but it's, yeah, I think ever since Jaws, people have been trying to make the next great shark film. And it's the Meg promises, you know, not this shark is ten times as big as Jaws. It's going to mm. be an event and it's just not quite there. Maybe bigger is not always better. No, no, I think there are some very impressive shots you see in the trailer of the shark kind of swimming underneath people, which yes. is very cool, but yeah, yeah I think um, there's something to be said for the possibility that the shark could exist, and I don't think the Meg could ever <laughs> exist. Well, the, the premise in the film is that this, this shark has been living in some uncharted water in yeah. China somewhere, is that right? That's correct, yeah. Is, is there any, I mean, I, I asked this question and I can see you're laughing already. <laughs> is, there any, is there any chance that this could be happening? No. <laughs> <laughs> Simply put, no. The Megalodon was not adapted for life deep under the oceans. You know, this was a huge predator. If, right. if it did exist, we'd, we'd know about it by now, without a doubt. <laughs> okay, right. fine. And it would, what, what did it eat then? <laughs> it would have eaten everything. There's lots of evidence that it was preying upon whales, you know, the size of sperm whales. Wow. So these are huge animals. I mean, this was top of the food chain predator. And you can imagine, obviously, the size of these teeth. It's like, for example, looking at jaws, it's kind of like jaws on steroids, isn't it? Mm, <laughs> Look at absolutely. the size of this thing. So why is it thought that they, they died off? Competition. Competition from whales and other animals that evidently could uh, out outcompete megalodon and potentially also a change in climate, a you know, change in the environment in, w in which megalodon was you know, evolved into and, and couldn't adapt quick enough. Um, you're obviously a huge fan. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, tell me about um, shark movies, though, because jaws really... Um, you know, sh gave sharks a bad reputation. It did. It was the worst PR campaign possible for sharks. You know, ever since the 70s, they've been trying to uh, get their sort of groove back. And uh, it, yeah. It, yeah, a lot of sharks died after Jaws because people started hunting them and people really thought that there was a much bigger threat from sharks than there actually was. Have you seen the film, Dean? W will you go and see the main? I've yet to see it, but I'm definitely going to go and see it. You know, as a bit of a fanboy, of course, <laughs> you know, forget about the science in there, but without a doubt, I'll go and see it. And tell us about sharks because they are, again, really important to our sort of ecosystem. Oh yeah, of course they? they are, yeah. I mean, without a doubt, sharks are super important. And uh, as you just touched upon, yeah. the, 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 the main issue is, of course, you know, people see them as predators and they're, they're going to attack humans. But in reality, why would they want to attack humans? You know, we're, <laughs> we're bony. They don't want to eat, eat us. We've got to remember that when we're in their environment, we've got to respect that. And of course, the biggest predator to them 
are humans, unfortunately. Millions die every year. OK, well, thank you very much indeed for bringing a, a sharp, sharp end to the programme. Uh, the this Meg. is an amazing, amazing thing to have even looked at, so thank you very much. Uh, the Meg <laughs> is in cinemas now, as Hannah says, the trailer might be slightly better than the film itself. Just a bit, yeah. Thank okay. you. <laughs> really nice to talk to you both. Thanks thank you both. You. Uh, OK, we shall see you tomorrow.